Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. And it's been a while. I was gone for like four or five days. I've been quite busy. But let's let's deep dive into the video, right? Not this one. I should be over here. Not this one as well. I should be over here actually. So Argentina won against Poland. I could not make video about Argentina lost and Saudi and Argentina winning against Mexico because I was quite busy and other stuff. But hey, today we had match day and we won against Poland. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to talk about in this video how Argentina played and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get into it. So as you can see from the very beginning, Argentina went 4-3-3 uh, while Poland went traditional 4-4-2. And I'm more of a 4-3-3 kind of guy more than 4-4-2 because I don't know, man. I, li I like 4-3-3 better. I've been a Barca fan forever and yeah, 4-3-3 is what I, you know, fuck with. So that was one of... I was already excited. And second thing I liked of Lionel Scaloni in this game was McAllister started and Enzo started. Very, very good thing. Very, very, you know, good thinking. Because before the game, as you might think, as you might know, we needed to win this game. If we had lost this game, we might be out of the World Cup, right? So there was a need for it to absolutely win this game. And Paredes is more like a double pivot kind of guy along with Rodrigo de Paul in most of the Argentina game in you know when they were unbeaten for like 36 games or something like that but McAllister if you watch Premier League you know he is he can you know provide that attack and he scored and that's a very good thing and he also had a couple of good chances one was very good saved by this Chesney guy Chesney the goalkeeper of Juventus right so I was, I was quite happy that we went through 4-3-3 and it was quite apparent from the very beginning that Poland were not going to attack. They were not here to attack. They were just going to sit back and defend for 90 minutes. They were planning to score goals in transition only, in counter attacks only. If Argentina fucks up in attack, then their plan was to try and score goal in transition to pass the ball to Lewandowski and if he scores, he scores. If he does not, then end of story, right? They're gonna just, they were just going to sit back and, what do you call it, defend. So, I'm in paint, as you can see, because I don't have a fucking software, proper software. But hey, who cares, right? So, as I said, they went through traditional 4-4-2 Poland, okay? So, Lewandowski and this guy, they were somewhere around here. And these two, number 6 and number 10, they played more as a double pivot, right? They played more as a double pivot kind of guy. So, how did Argentina took advantage of it? Let me tell you how, okay? As you can see, if you can see in this picture, you can also watch in this area. It's the same thing, right? But I think I'm going to explain in this because, I don't know, it's it's going to be easier for others to see. I'm going to do on both, actually. You can see our right back and left back were Molina and Acuna, right? So what, what happened today was, what happened today was, Acuna, he played more as a fullback so did Molina that's what Argentina always does what the fuck wait let me make this clear okay they played more as a fullback okay right so what this allows is you can see and as I said from previous video if you go and watch my previous video Messi always play as a free role he does not have definitive role he, he just walks around most of the time he always plays as a free role so why did Acuna and Molina playing as a fullback matter so much? I'm going to explain, right? Because as you can see in the formation, Alvarez in this side, but Alvarez played more in somewhere around this area. Okay, Alvarez, what the fuck? Alvarez plays somewhere around this area and Messi, he sometimes drops dead back down. He sometimes goes up ahead. But in today's match, Messi played more in this area, more in this area. Okay, Messi played more in this area. So let me tell you how this, you know, was an advantage for Argentina, right? I'm going to show over here. What the fuck? Uh, here you go. Molina is up there. Acuna is up there, right? So as I said, Alvarez played more in this area, right? So what happened was, if you can see, if Acuna and Molina were up front, Argentina only has two defenders right now, two central defenders, that's it. But if you watch Mexico game, you know that Enzo Fernandez drops deep down, not back down to play as a third defender. 
So meaning that would mean this area, this area is empty, right? That's where McAllister came in. So Akuna was somewhere around already here, right? In this area, Akuna was already here. Meaning McAllister played, M McAllister dropped in this area, okay? See, McAllister dropped in this area because because Fernandez also played as a third defender, right? So here is the fun part. You see, McAllister was somewhere around here, right? Somewhere around here. And this is Alvarez, Messi played somewhere around here, meaning Di Maria, Di Maria was here, Di Paul was somewhere around here, and Molina was this, this guy, right? This area, meaning. So Molina, Di Paul, Di Maria. Remember, okay, and as I said, McAllister dropped in this area because Akuna was already covering this area. So when Molina takes the ball and crosses the ball, or when Akuna takes the ball and crosses the ball, we have Alvarez, Messi, and McAllister. Understood? Alvarez, Messi, and McAllister. So that's how Argentina scored their first goal. Because you see how heavily guarded, not guarded, but you can see how heavy this, this area would be. Because Alvarez, Messi, and McAllister would be somewhere around here. Molina would be somewhere around here. Enzo would also be somewhere around here. He was up, uh, way up in the pitch sometimes. Sometimes he dropped down. So yeah, Enzo would also be there, but I'm talking about the first goal. See, and you can, as you see from the first minute of the video of the match, of the match actually, Argentina were, you know, trying to cross the ball, you know, every now and then, right? So this area was heavily loaded for a Polish defender. Because Messi, you see, this I told you at the beginning of the video, these two were played as a double pivot, right? These two played as a double pivot, meaning they could only take care of either McAllister, Messi, or Alvarez, right? And these two were the defenders. And these were the defenders, right? Meaning in this area, either Messi or McAllister. One of those guys was always, not always, but one of those guys would be free. If they would go for Messi, if these people go for Messi, then McAllister and Enzo would come in. If they go for Enzo, then McAllister and Messi would come in. You, do you understand my point? So that's how we scored our first goal. Molina went, took the ball somewhere around here. She crossed the ball. These, these guys were covering for Messi and Enzo. McAllister was, you know, caught up free. He scored the fucking goal. Let's see the goal, where it is. See how beautiful we score. Here we go, right? This is Di Maria, okay. I think this is where we scored. I, I could be wrong. No, this is not where we scored. Yeah, this is where we scored. See, this is Di Maria, this is Molina, okay. And you see, Messi is here. I think Alvarez is here, McAllister is here. See? Molina crossed, Messi is here. Alvarez is here. This is mm, McAllister. You see, let's let's let let's look at this thing again. Okay, I'm gonna pause at the exact time. See, Molina receives the ball. See, I told you, De Paul was somewhere around here. This is Di Maria. This is Messi. Messi always has a free role, right? Yes, McAllister is. I told you, I told you, exact same should happen. Exact same should happen. See. That's how we scored our first goal. And for second goal, it was, you know, Enzo's masterclass yet again. Enzo is, man, he's, he's stepping up, man. That's nice. When did we score our second goal? Yeah, somewhere around there. In second goal, I think this is Enzo. Uh, who scored? Alvarez scored our second goal, right? This is Alvarez, Messi is here. It's all Enzo, man. It's all Enzo. Enzo. There you go. And beautiful strike by Alvarez, but hey, not this one. Where am I supposed to be? I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, that's how we scored. But, but, but for our next games, right? Let's say if we face a pretty decent team, a pretty good team who is not going to sit back and relax and defend for 90 minutes, right? They played a traditional 4-3-3. This system would not work. Because, I, I'm going to tell you why this wouldn't... Let's say we, fra we faced France or some shit, right? At some point, right? The, I'll tell you why this wouldn't work, right? Because Akuna and Molina, as I said, Akuna and Molina, they're going to go up front. Because Argentina also has to go 
and attack. Otherwise, they're going to lose. They, are, they also are going to have to attack, right? They can't just defend for 90 fucking minutes like Poland did. In round of 16, in quarterfinal, in semifinal, in final, if they reach, right? So for now, it's every game is a fucking final, right? So Argentina also got, are going to have to attack. And this system is pretty decent, pretty good for attack, as I explained to you. But why this wouldn't work is, it was very apparent that Poland were going to defend. Let's say France. France are not going to defend for 90 minutes, right? So if Akuna and Molina, they went up front, right? As I said, they will, they will only... Where is this square thing? There will only be two defenders, okay? These two guys, Otamendi and Romero. And Enzo, if Enzo drops back down and this McAllister comes right in, then this area would be very, very empty, right? This area would be very empty, right? And let's say we face France. Who, who comes in the wings for France? Fucking Mbappe and Dembele. And in midfield, they got fucking Tutamania or whatever the fuck his name is. Who else is there? Right? You see why this wouldn't work? Because Dembele, Mbappe, Tutamini, Kamavinga, these players are very young. They can run. They can run, 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 run like a fucking engine. Right? And if that happened, they're going to come through this area. And we might concede. Right? So, what should we do when some shit like that happens? Instead of McAllister at that point, we need Paredes at, over here. Instead of Romero, we need mm, Lissandro Martinez over here. I mean, they can switch position. I mean, not switch, like substitute and shit, but that's what we need to do. Other than that, keep everything same. Maybe Montiel or whatever his name is. Other, other than that, keep everything same. Akuna, he's built like a fucking Hulk. So, yeah, that's it. That's how we won today's. And that's how we're gonna go forward. We played pretty decent game today, pretty nice game. Argentina is slowly finding their, what do you call it, form back, I guess. They played decent against Mexico too, 2 0 win. Messi's masterclass that time. Today, Messi missed a penalty, but he played really, really good. He provided very good chances, right? So, yeah, this is how we won. And I'm gonna see you in next video. We face, whom do we face? Australia or something? In round of 16 yeah we face australia in round of 16 that should be not not i won't say easy but we should win against them if we don't win win against australia you know it's gonna suck but uh, i watched australia versus denmark today morning it was in the morning right and australia they played half decent so yeah you never know it's a fucking world cup every now and then they, uh, there is a fucking dark horse you know doing some shit so you never know, but I hope we win against them. And if we win against them, the win we face winner of Netherlands and United States in quarterfinal, right? And if we win against them as well, I think we face, I don't know, France or some shit in semifinal. And if we win against them as well, I think we face whom? Brazil or some shit? No, I, maybe, I don't know. That's a long, 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 long time. Not long, like two, three weeks, but for now, let's focus on round of 16. We won our game comfortable today. This should boost up their mentality. See you after the match against Australia. Have a good night.